Okay, what's going on guys? This is, uh, uh, it's been a while since I last posted, but uh, my wife's aerial rider, uh, her D-Class is currently currently not working. She hasn't rode it for about a, probably about a month and a half. So what this thing is doing is um, it's, um, it doesn't turn on. We, took, we put the battery in, we took it out, we turn it on, it, it doesn't, the display does, does not come on. There's no power going to anywhere. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate what we did. So the battery is in off position right now. I'm going to put it in and turn it on. Okay, so you can see it's off. I'm going to just slide this in. Lock this in place. All right, so it doesn't come out. Good. You can see the battery is full. Oh, now it's on E. You got to turn it on. Oh, sorry. Turn it on. <laughs> Thank you, wife. That's what I'm here for. All right, so you can see that it's full, okay? This is in the on position right now. And what we're gonna do is come up here to turn on the bike. I'm gonna just hold this power button down and this should come on. As you can see, it does not come on. It's just completely dead, okay? So I'm still holding it. I'm gonna let go now because it's been more than long enough to have that held down. Anyway, so I'm going to take the, remove the battery. So I contacted Aerial Rider and uh, let's turn this off. Slide this out. I'm going to turn the battery back on. Okay. And you can see that it is full. Okay. So the battery's on. What I'm going to do is test. Uh, I'm going to leave it on the ground so I don't break anything. And I can't, uh, well, what I was saying is I contacted Aero rider and author told me to test the battery with a voltmeter. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the negative on negative, positive on positive, and you can see that we have 53.8 volts. That's correct. I think this is a 52 volt unit. I'm sorry, no, 48 volt unit. Okay, so this is fully charged. Okay, um, I what I did also, let's pop this in. On position, lock this in place so it doesn't go away. What I'm going to do is, uh, what, I, what, I, what I also did was I rechecked all these connections. I tightened all of them up. I took them apart, tightened them up, and uh, still the same effect. It just does not turn on. All right. Okay. Yeah, this, the battery's <laughs> in the on position. It just does not come on. So maybe, let's see, let's follow this route now. So, batteries here. This is going to the motor. I think the display. Let's check this out. This is... Let me see. This is the on off. Oh, these pins are tiny. I can't even test that in there. I, I wouldn't be able to test this. Let's put this back. But anyway, I've I unraveled all the um, coils on here to hold the wires together, the wire organizers. But like I said, I took all these apart, <coughs> tested these connections. There's no way this is coming apart. This is a whole piece. So let me see. Let me check this. Let's see if this is power going to this thing. This is to the front motor. Nope, this is to the light. This will not get any power, I don't think. But we'll find out. There's nothing there, let's switch it. Yeah, I don't think this will get any power because it's not, the unit is not on. Do you want to turn it on and see if we get any continuity? It's on, it's, you, it doesn't power on. Everything is on. Everything, the battery's on? Yeah, the battery's on. I hold this down. Okay. Nothing. 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 The bat, does this have to be locked in place, the key? I don't think so, it's just making a connection. I think it's just so you can't... It doesn't slide out, out. yeah. 
Um, anyway, I'm, I'm, we're, we're pretty stumped. All right, uh, this video is basically for myself and uh, Aerial Rider. So uh, it's a documentation that uh, we did all the test. Uh, let me know what you guys think. What other things things that might be wrong with this thing? I don't know. Just please comment below um, because uh, I'm, I'm pretty stumped with this. This is uh, our first e-bikes. So, uh, but I'm handy enough to test and stuff like that and change a few things and and uh, figure things out mechanically okay uh, so let me know what you guys think all right so as of now this thing is not working all right guys thank you and stay tuned